In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to put the zip back on this pencil case. You can see the zip has come off. The main reason for why the zip came out, as you can see here, it is actually torn. Therefore, when the user opened this, the zip carried on traveling and it came out. Now, my solution does require some tools. So before you move to the tool option, let's just try and get this back in. So what you can do is you can actually flip the zip the other way around because it was originally traveling like this, but it's very hard to get it back in this direction. So I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to try and get it on here. The technique here is to find the, the side which is still quite tight. This side is much looser than this. So I start on the tighter side and I try to get this into the zip mouth. And there you can see I've actually got it. Now the side which is more loose, as you can see, it's this side. I just put it there, align it, and now what I can do is make sure that both of these are quite similarly aligned. You can see now that's not going to be good because this is further in than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push this back a bit and align these so they're quite similar. Right, there you can see they're quite similar now, and now I'm going to try and pull this up. Now you can see that this is a very finicky story, and it's barely going in, and I probably will take about 15 minutes to get this right. So now I'm going to move to step two, which requires the use of tools. Now you do not necessarily need a vernier, but what I'm showing is that on each side of the zip mouth, you can see that the total thickness is 3.6 millimeters. Right, now what I do is I take my screwdriver, I put it inside here, and I actually twist. It's like I'm turning it inside here. And I'm actually opening this mouth. Right, so the mouth is now opened. Okay, so I've only opened the one side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread it the way it was, Right, so this is the way it was, and because I've opened this side, all I'm going to do is push this inside. All right, so it needs to be opened a little bit more. Right, so I'm just going to push it in here. Do not damage the teeth. There's enough space to go in there. There we go. Now it is in. Right, so now they're both in, but it's not zipping. Now, don't worry about that for now. All you do is you take it to where the zip travel would start. And all I need to do now is squeeze the, squeeze the side that I had opened. Right, so at the moment it's 3.8. I'm just a little bit shy. Right, so I'm just going to close it a bit more. Right, so I've closed it to 3.59, so that's close enough. Then all you need to do is pull this back a few times and then just close it. And there you can see the zip is now repaired. And now you can see the zip is back to normal. But just over here, as you can see, because it's still open, you're still going to have that problem of the zip coming out. So all you need to do is just take some thread and sew that that end there and that end there, so that they cannot come together like this. Because the two tracks here are loose, therefore the zip can actually come off, and that's what we don't want. So all we're gonna do is take some needle and thread and sew that there and sew that there. Right, now the next step is to take some needle and thread and to sew the track down. So you can see that this side is now already been sewn. So I've already sewn this side down, Right, so you can see how the track is going there and then it's going into the side there so you can't get to the end of the track. Therefore, the zip won't come out there. Now, it's just time to do the other side. You can see the track is completely exposed and also it's starting to fray. Right, so you can see that I'm sewing it in such a way that the end of the track is actually getting fastened inside there. It'll also stop the track from fraying. Right, so you can see that the two tracks now are sewn down so they're no longer exposed. Right, and there you can see the zip, and even if I'm rough, still fine. 
Right, just a tip. If you find that when you're closing it, it doesn't knit, it doesn't zip, it leaves it open. Well, that means that somehow when you tighten the one side, you didn't tighten it the same as that side. If the one mouth is wider than the other, it won't zip properly. So if you're finding that that happens to you, just go and check that that side and that side have been tightened the same amount. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.